I'm Jack Keenan and I teach on the media and communications and journalism courses and I'm course leader for the MSc in Communications and Public Affairs. Um, I study at RGU um, and I grew up in Aberdeenshire so I'm local, been here all my life basically. Study, I studied um, corporate communications um, as an undergraduate and then I did an MSc in electronic information management um, and digital media is, is pretty broad now and is an aspect of every industry, every organisation. Um, digital media is kind of pervasive and, and a part of. I was encouraged into it um, for a number of reasons. I was initially, it was web design I initially worked in after university. Um, and I was just interested in that because at the time it was a, you know, a real kind of growth area. Um, it was exciting, it was dynamic, it was changing very quickly. Um, I've always been very interested in, in design. Um, I've always been very interested in, in the arts and art, but I, I, I can't paint um, or draw at all. So I've always been interested in finding ways that I could create things um, in other ways, and web design allows you to do that. Um, from there, I kind of went into to working within uh, video and kind of online TV. I was interested in that, and I'm interested, I think, particularly in digital media, because they are very open, um, and they allow people to tell stories that might not be covered by mainstream press. I started lecturing ad hoc, so part-time lecturing, um, immediately after my undergraduate. Um, so within six months I'd been asked to, to teach a um, web design module to postgraduates. And from there I kind of got asked to do more and more ad hoc lecturing. Um, and then the opportunity came up to, to do it full time. Um, the moment when a penny drops is, is probably a good one, where if you're teaching web design or something like that, uh, and there's a period of stress where people aren't getting it, and towards the end of it, it starts to click with them, and that's really satisfying when you realise that it's kind of sunk in and they get it. Um, because I've been here a relatively, I've, I've only been, this is only my third year in this full time, um, so I'm yet to see students through from, from year one to, to year four, but certainly seeing people come to the end of the initial modules is exciting, but uh, it'll, be, it'll be really exciting to see people coming to the, the end of the whole A huge course. amount of consideration that goes on behind the scenes, not just looking at the designing of individual modules, but looking at how we design the entire experience as a whole, um, both in terms of you know, the, the student experience, um, the skills they pick up, um, and making sure that they fit with industry, making sure that they fit with employability. Um, I think also that kind of outside the individual courses and what you're taught in you know, the coursework and things like that, um, you can never underestimate the actually just having the time to explore new ideas. Um, I think the time at university is, is really valuable. The opportunity to gain access to equipment, to go out and do it. When I, before I worked here, I know, I know how much it costs if you want to try and just practice becoming a filmmaker. Um, that having that time to meet like-minded people and go out and make things and have access to the equipment, you know, that I think is the real value. And I think that's something we're actually very good at offering here on top of what you get, of course. Yeah, the areas that I find, the areas that I think are exciting just now, I think we'll see a huge growth in augmented reality. It's, it's basically, I, I think, crossover between computing Convergence between computing and different forms of media is 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 huge, and that you know that is the growth area. We will see a, a big rise in augmented reality, where we have data being overlaid onto real life. Um, but yeah, transmedia storytelling, ubiquitous computing, and uh, augmented reality. Those are the three areas that I would be looking at just now as as growth areas. And that's why I would say, you know, if you want recommendation of what I think students should be doing is get involved in everything, you know, you, without, I don't want to come across as negative, but you know, it's, it is a hugely competitive industry, it's also a hugely, it's a huge growth industry, it's one of the biggest industries in the world now, the creative industries, mm -hmm. um, so there are huge opportunities there, but it is massively competitive, 
So I think that you, know, you, you need to be, you, you need to have a blog, you need to get involved in projects, you need to volunteer for lots of projects, and, and that's what I was doing, and that's what I'm still doing. You know, I'm, I'm still asking people who are doing things that I'm interested in, who are doing interesting music, I'm saying, well, can I make that a music video for you? Or maybe we could do some sort of display if you're playing live. You know, just get out there and do as, you know, do as much as you, as you can.